has more. A day that began in shock turned into an evening of raw anger. For hours after the mass stabbing attack outside a primary school, hundreds of people, fueled by angry online speculation over the suspect's nationality, took over the main street of Ireland's capital. Shops on O'Connell Street were looted. Buses, trams and a police car were all set alight as the police struggled to bring the disorder under control. The country's most senior officer tonight appealing for calm. The why and the motive behind this is a very principal part of our investigation and that's what we're seeking to determine. At the meantime then, we've also got pretty serious public order uh, problems to deal with in the city tonight. And those things are disgraceful uh, and uh, which people calm down, go home and allow us actually con conduct their duties and our investigations properly. It all stemmed from this, a lunchtime knife attack with no immediate motive outside a primary school on Parnell Square. Horrified eyewitnesses rushed to intervene. Well, there was a, a man and, and he was leaning over children and he was stabbing them. So when he got over there, we ju I just jumped, we jumped in, we just jumped in and got a hold, a hold of the man and put him to the ground. In the bedlam, three young children aged five and six were injured, one five-year-old girl seriously. A woman in her 30s was also injured. The man, subdued by both witnesses and the police, was taken to hospital. The attack was condemned across the political spectrum, the horror etched on the face of even seasoned leaders. This is the last thing that you expect to happen on a Thursday afternoon in the, in the middle of Dublin city. It's a, it's a great school community and, and people's hearts are with the children who have been traumatised, those who have been injured, uh, and we pray for their full recovery. Police are this evening crediting the bystanders from preventing the situation being even worse. I'm not a hero. I'm not a hero. No way am I a hero. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. I'm a, I'm a Dublin lady, you know what I mean? I, I do believe that our city shouldn't be like this. Our children should be safe. But the actions of Dublin's heroes have now been eclipsed by the actions of what the Garda commissioner called its hooligan faction, driven by far-right ideology.